What's your name? What's my name? Charlotte Dvorak. My name is Charlotte. Should I say Char or Charlotte Dvorak? Char. Where are we? We're at the soda plant. Right? We're at the soda plant. We're in my studio. And I'm really good at interviews. Open, that, open the fridge. Give me a little beer. in LA I would make these like I'd never made art before and people always ask me about it because my mom's an artist but I liked taking photos but I never made paintings or like art of any kind and then when I lived in LA I would work at night and I would just during the day I would just like get a little high <laughs> Can I see that? Hmm? get a little high and like walk around my neighborhood and then like have this idea to like make something cool for my own house and I had a blick like five blocks away and so I just would go to Blick and like get the stuff and go home and just like make it and be like, oh, fuck. I can make stuff that I want to actually like put in my own house. And I started making block prints because I was trash at drawing and like block prints, you can make like a drawing that looks like shit and then you make it into a block print and it looks cool. And then when I get the paint off the brayer, like the roller, um, or else you could like transition colors in a really interesting way. And then I started making these like two-toned oceanscapes and I like posted one on my Instagram and someone wanted to buy it. I thought that was surprising. <laughs> and then I stopped for a while when I moved back here and then I started again during COVID because I didn't have anything else to do. And one of my friends who had bought a piece for me was like, you have nothing else. Why wouldn't you just make a bunch of paintings? Then I did. And now here we are. No, you're filming me. That's the story. That's tech. Because it's really technical. So the acrylic. I don't know why I picked acrylic. Because my mom is only oil and watercolor. I think like when I was at Dick Blick in LA, it was just like cheap and it dried fast because I'm super impatient. I think that's like where a lot of like my creative like motive comes from is like impatience. Like I just want it to be done kind of fast and I think that that's like kind of where my style comes from because it's like super quick and because um, I'm a super impatient person. So I like, I don't think I could ever work with oil paint. It takes four days to dry. I'll be dead by then, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna have that kind of time. I want it to dry in like five minutes, and it does. So I have that fan. <laughs> Oops. This is why we can't have nice things. I think I'm just sort of like zoned out and just like fucking around <laughs> basically, which is kind of like, I think what exactly what you should do as an artist is just like muck around and see what happens. And then after you come to be like, why is this one cool? And why does this one suck? Or, you know, come back the next day and like reevaluate what you made and just learn from it and that's the cool thing about this is like every time I make something I'm like learning from it I've only been doing this for two years and the amount of the amount that I've improved in that time I think is a lot so it's kind of exciting to think about like where I'll be in five or ten years I think that's kind of like what my goal is is to just be like really fucking good in like 20 years that's the goal so We'll see. How's this going? Better? Great. 
Super.